Hello everyone and welcome back to the Little Blue Fly. If this is your first time visiting, welcome and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. So as you can see, today we are going to be refreshing this sweet little cottage cabinet that I just recently thrifted. It is, well, as you can see, it looks like maybe it was a side cabinet in, um, I don't know, maybe a hamburger hut or something. It's definitely has seen better days. Um, it is kind of really beat up and dirty and we are going to give it a very nice refresh today in warm colors. So that being said, let's begin, shall we? So this is just the sweetest little cabinet. It has a couple drawers down at the bottom because again, it's all about storage here at the cottage. And as you can see, it's definitely seen better days. Now, many of you might absolutely love this look and that's great, but I need to warm it up a bit. So I'm going to use this paint uh, by Jolie. It is Uptown Crew, and I'm going to put a link in my description box at my Amazon storefront where this can be purchased. Just make sure if you go there and you purchase, it does say Uptown Crew. That's important if you want this look. So as you can see, the top is very dirty and beat up and we are going to change that a bit. I just wanted to get here at the cottage. Um, I don't necessarily decorate with that much white, although I do love it. White is very um, fresh, but I just wanted to um, warm things up a bit. I tend to gravitate towards the warm palette for sure. The paint, this paint is fabulous. It, it just really goes on so smoothly. And when you're painting, just make sure that, you know, when you do the final stroke, that it goes all the way from the left to the right. And I try not to press too hard because I don't want to leave um, those unnecessary paint lines. So I'm just really gentle with the brush when I'm applying the paint. And as you can see, there's already a great difference happening here. Now I have taken off the cabinet doors and I decided I'm not going to paint the top because we're really not going to see it, but I do want to paint the inside and I've taken off all of the hardware. That was probably the the longest process was having to remove the hardware. So you're going to see it warm up quite a bit here in a moment. I just, I'm going to absolutely love this piece. Very nice, warm color. Now, some of the white you will see is going to come through this paint color. And that is perfectly fine because seeing that back color, you know, the color underneath, it just sort of, it, it tells a story. It tells us that it had a previous life in another area. 
and I like that. So I just wanted to paint half so that you could really see the difference of this chalk paint. Now, as you, these drawers, uh, they've definitely, they have been used. And I'm just going to go ahead and give it a really good coat. Now, actually, on this whole piece, I did apply just two coats to the entire cabinet. Just again, make sure that you're light with the brush when applying the paint onto your piece of furniture to avoid the lines. I love these little knobby handles right here on this drawer. This piece definitely does say the little blue fly. So we have all around good coverage. I painted the doors. I removed the glass. That was quite a long process. There was like, oh gosh, six, seven, ten different pins holding in each glass door but it's nicely painted now and there's some of the hardware over to the side so here to the left I want to point out how I have started giving this piece some character by distressing and because this piece was in the inside, I wanted to do a wet distressing, not one with sandpaper because I just, I didn't, I didn't want to mess. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. So you just take a wet washcloth and just keep rubbing over. And because uh, of the properties within the chalk paint, it just, it easily removes. And you get a nice uh, distressed look. Now this is where, when I'm doing this part, some of the previous paint, the white comes through. And that's the part that I like, because that's, the previous story. And it's just as simple as wiping over. And you can see some of the white. Just think, if this wasn't a burger hut, they could have kept the buns back down here. <laughs> Who knows? It, w it was definitely being used wherever it was at. <laughs> so now I have it completely distressed to my liking. Just wanted to add a little bit of character. And now we are going to really be warming things up by using this wax from Annie Sloan. And it is uh, her clear wax. And I will be listing this in my Amazon storefront as well with a paintbrush. Well, actually, actually a waxing brush. And this is what it looks like. It's just 
clear wax and you just get a good portion on the bottom of your brush. A round brush is really the best to use when waxing. And this brush is in my Amazon storefront. And you just go around in circles. And you can apply as much as you want to. So I'm just going to continue in a circular motion. And then the excess, you know, as you can see, my, my brush is definitely has seen better days it's actually quite a quite a few bristles are coming off but anyhow no worries because when I'm done applying this with a cloth I wipe off the excess wax and those little pesky brush fibers they come off with it And as you can see, just such a warm look to this piece. So again, I am going to be showing all of you half of the piece with wax and the other half not just so you can really see the difference when you work with the waxes now down below here where the drawers are at they um, were kind of sticky so if you any of you have furniture where the drawers really like to stick well because I'm using wax right now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right here and then it actually will help the drawers open and close more smoothly and you can do this on any piece of furniture and I also will be going right here in this area as well and now that drawer will just open and close like butter so if you have any of those, you can use wax. You can even use regular candles. Just rub it right there on the tracks. And now here's the cabinet with the left side being completely waxed. just a nice warm feel to this piece that I absolutely love. I'm gonna have so much fun decorating this piece. <laughs> 